very good morning everyone everybody please be seated in comfortable meditative pose both the palms into chin mudra tip of the index and thumb together place them on your thighs make sure your spine neck head is straight in line close your eyes Let's go ahead with three mindful inhalations and exhalations. Inhale, exhale, once again, observing your abdomen bulging out as you breathe in, inhale, and exhaling your abdomen shrinking in as you breathe out, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Keeping your eyes closed, slowly join your palms together into Namaskara Mudra or Anjali Mudra at the center of the chest. Let's all chant Om Kara for three times. Take a deep inhalation. Oh. Inhale. Oh. Once again, inhale. Oh. It's all done. Om Asatoma Sadgamaya together. Om Asatoma Sadgamaya Tamasoma Jyotirkamaya Mrityorma Amrutangamaya Oh, Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Slowly start rubbing your palms together to generate warmness. Make the palms in the shape of a cup. Place them over your eyes. Feel the warmth. With few gentle blinks, slowly open your eyes, looking into your palm. Actually, as it's the first Sunday of the month, we should be practicing Trataka, but I missed to remind you, so most of you wouldn't have been ready with the setup. So we will do the practice of Trataka the coming 
Sunday. So all of you keep the lamp ready for the coming Sunday. Let's start with the warm-ups. We'll do the warm-ups in standing position today. If you're comfortable, you can do it in standing. Or if you're not, you can take the support of a chair and do these movements. Whoever is comfortable, try to stand up without taking the support of the palms. Do not do this if you're having any knee pains or ankle issues. Others can go ahead with it. Very good. Now, we will start with the neck movement. Slowly inhaling, raise your head up. Feel the good stretch in the neck region. Exhaling, get your neck back to the center. Two more times. Inhale up. Exhale, center. With complete awareness around your neck region. Inhale up. Exhale, center. Just remove, uh, sorry, just re remember these movements and practice it during the rest of the days in the week because three counts is ideally not enough because of the time constraint and limiting it to three just to keep you reminded about the practices. Now tilt your neck towards the right and feel the good stretch on the left, compression on the right. Center. Now tilt your neck towards the left and feel the good stretch on the right. Center. To your right. Center. To your left. Center. Right. Center. Left. Slowly. Center. Very good. Now we'll go ahead with the neck twisting. Slowly twist your neck towards the right side and try to get the chin parallel to the shoulder. Inhale center. Now tilt it towards the left. The beautiful twist in the neck region. Center, right. Center. Left, center, right, center, left, slowly, center. These neck movements help to strengthen the neck region. And also it's very important to practice this. If you're going ahead with the practice of intermediate and advanced level arsenal. So the practice of these helps to reduce the injuries in case of any mistakes when you're doing the arsenal. Now, we will go ahead with the neck rotation. If you're having any neck or shoulder pain, you avoid the forward rotation of the neck and instead go ahead with only backward rotation wherein you bend your neck and then slowly tilt your neck to the right shoulder and left shoulder, keeping your shoulders as relaxed as possible. Okay, you will do the movement only at the back. Others will go ahead with the complete rotation. Bend your neck forward, then slowly take it to the right. Try to touch the ear to the shoulder, then to the left and center. Slow and gentle. And feel your neck region. Where do you feel the compression and the ex? Keep going. One last round. Enjoy the movement. Then after you're done with three counts, go according to your own pace. Slow and gentle. Enjoy the movement. And then slowly reverse. Three. Two. And one. Slowly, after you're done with three counts on the other side, slowly come back to the center. Relax and observe your neck region after the movement.
gently open your eyes and we'll move on to the shoulders now just observe your shoulder joint and just observe the change in the shoulders after the movement this is just to create awareness in your body and to make you experience the difference because once you experience the difference it adds like a motivation for you to practice work we'll go ahead with the shoulder movement complete shoulder rotation thumb tucked in by the other four fingers and as straight as possible and start rotating forward 1 2 3 4 now after this if you having any shoulder or neck pain you will go ahead with reverse direction only okay and this will continue for another five counts 6 7 8 9 10 reverse then 9 and try to take the forearm closer and you're going to have to backward rotation six till the nice opening of the right chest seven eight nine and ten slowly release relax and try to observe the difference between the right shoulder and the left shoulder shoulder joint gently open your eyes now the left thumb tucked in by the other four fingers and start rotating forward four five now after this any shoulder or neck pain you will go ahead with the backward rotation and there is another five counts of it 6 7 8 9 10 reverse 10 9 8 seven try to slow down a little bit try to feel the difference between the movement when you're doing it slowly and fast and slowly release your hand hold the hands by the side close your eyes relax and now observe your left shoulder relax and feel gently open your eyes now interlock your palms place them on your chest inhaling turn your palms forward and stretch your hands forward five let's go ahead with five counts inhale stretch your hands forward exhale get your hands back to the palms back to the chest continue 2 3 stretch completely from your finger 4 and 5 okay. now slightly the same movement we'll take the hands slightly above the forehead approximately 45 degrees and keep the hands at 45 degrees continue 1 now take the hands to 90 degrees One, two, three, four, five. 
slowly release your hands, hands by the side, close your eyes, relax. Slowly open your eyes. Now we'll go ahead with the elbow, wrist and finger joints. Hands in front of you. Fold your hands and stretch them straight. Five counts. One, two, three, four, five. Now palms turn downwards. Up and down. One, two, three, four, five. Rotation, wrist rotation. One, two, three, four, five, reverse, five, four, three, two, one, fold your fingers and open them wide, one, two, three, four, five, hands by the side, close your eyes, relax. Actually, if you're going for more counts, you can feel the actual effect of the micro exercises on the body. Gently open your eyes. Now we'll move ahead, go ahead with the waist movement. First, take comfortable distance between your legs and we'll go ahead with the waist rotation. Clockwise. First, push your abdomen forward and slowly push it to the right. Take it back to the left. Okay. Four. Three. Two, one, reverse. Yes, we are on the other side. Pull, tick, tick, let it go. Do so, tick. Then slowly, after you're done, come back to the center. Then move on to the hip joint. Take your Right leg towards the right leg, left leg towards the left. Continue 10 counts, alternating right and left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Very good. Now. Hands in front of you, palms facing down. Raise your right leg and touch the right toes to the left palm, left toes to the right. Alternating right and left, 10 counts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Third, once again, hands back on the waist. We'll go ahead with the leg forward and backward. Very mo free movement, just free. Without any tension in the leg muscles, swing the leg forward and backward. Two, three, four. Puri kalvi. Mundaki venaki anandi. It won't tension lekunda kalalo. Free movement. And 10. Center, shift to the other side. When you're doing this, make sure that the right foot is firmly on the mat so that you can balance your body. Yes. Nine. And 10. Then you're done. Center, now once again. Fingertips on your shoulder joints. Go ahead with the knee movement. Raise your right leg and touch the right knee to the left elbow. Left knee to the right. Alternating 10 counts. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Center. Move on to the ankle. Right leg forward, stretch your toes forward and flex them back. 10 counts. 1, 2, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Rotation, two, three, four, five. Reverse, five, four, three, two, one. Slowly get your leg back to the center. Switch to the other side. Left toes forward and flex them back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Rotation clockwise. Two, three, four, five. Re reverse. Five, four, three, two, one. Slowly. Get your feet back on the mat, hands by the side, close your eyes. And once again, observe the region around your ankles after the movement. Try to feel the warmth, slight tingling sensation and the lightness around the, around the region where the movement has been done. That's improved blood circulation caused by the conscious body movement. Gently open your eyes. We'll do the toes. Once again, right leg forward. Clench your toes and open them wide. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. Very good. Switch to the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Center. Three. Three to four feet distance between your legs. Hands to the shoulder level. Check your hands that you're they are in the shoulder level. Now bend towards your right side, sliding your right hand over the right leg and get the left hand over the left ear and feel the good stretch on the left. Open your chest to feel the good stretch. Avoid bending forward. Instead, open your chest. Then shift to the other side. The same movement, we'll do it faster for 10 counts and then hold for 10 counts on each side with normal breathing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, Bend, all of you, bend on to your right. Feel the good stretch on the left with normal breathing. Sadharananga Shvasati Skundu. Hold it. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch to the other side and hold. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Slowly come back to the center. Now we'll go ahead with Vira Bhadrasana on the right. In the same position, twist your right leg towards the right side. Right foot towards the right side. Right foot towards the right, left foot slightly inward, and then turn your body to your right, bend down, and then you can come onto your toes. If you're having any knee pain, then you can keep the knee rested on the mat while maintaining cushioning under your knee, only in case of knee pain. Then 
raise your hands up into virabhadra look straight and hold them one two three four five six seven eight nine ten then slowly let's go ahead into virabhadrasana to get your hands to the shoulder level feet back on the mat twist your body to the right and look at your right fingertips okay everybody clear with the practice you're just moving the left foot the left foot comes back on the mat slightly inward the right thigh is parallel to the mat hands to the shoulder level and you will turn your head to the right and look at your right fingertips that's virabhadrasana one as very common that our body tends to fall forward just get your body back to the center and make sure that your knee is not crossing your toes okay your knee should be a little inward to your toes so that there's no excess strain around the knee when you are in this pose Let's hold there for ten counts. Normal breathing: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we're going ahead into reverse warrior. Just observe me. You, your legs are in the same position. You slide the left hand on the left leg and take the right hand over and bend back. Just five counts: two, three, four, and five. Slowly come back to center. Right foot back. Just release your legs for the hands by the side. Close your eyes. Just relax. You feel the change in the body, breath, and mind. gently open your eyes we will do the same movement on the left first we'll hold on the left just slide your left hand on the left leg bend to your right and hold 2 3 4 five normal breathing 6 7 8 9 then then we'll go ahead with the practice of virabhadra turn your left foot towards the left side and right foot slightly inward then bend but make sure that your knee is not crossing your toes to avoid strain on the knee okay try to keep the knee in line with your ankle and thigh parallel to the mat you can adjust the uh, distance between your legs according to your height you can uh, feel your body comfortable when there is proper distance between your legs okay once you are in this position raise your hands up join them together into namaskar mudra to be the bhadra just hold there for 10 counts 2 3 4 very good well done a 9 then now just get your hands to the shoulder level but then body to the center and look to your left Look on to your left fingertips to wear a badra sana too. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now your legs will be in the same position. Slide your left hand on the sorry right hand on the right leg and get your left hand up. 
to reverse over here and hold there. You can look at your left palm, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very good. Slowly come back to center. Release your hands, release your legs. Hands by the side. Close your eyes. Relax. Gently open your eyes. We'll just go ahead with the very free movement of forward and backward bending just to warm up the spine, to strengthen the spine. If you're having any lower back pain, you'll just go till the waist level, getting the chest and abdomen parallel to the mat. Others can go completely forward. Okay. Up and down. Just stay free movement. 10 counts. 1, 2, 3. You can do all these movements even just before starting your walk. Very helpful. To prepare your body for the movement. To strengthen your spine. To improve overall blood circulation around the body. Slowly, after 10 counts, you can slow down if my counting is faster. Hands by the side. Please go according to your comfort. Close your eyes and relax. Let your heartbeat come back to normal. Okay. Good. Now just a wavy moment of twisting and we'll move on to Surya Namaskar. Comfortable distance between your legs. Just twist to your right and left once again. Very free movement. And feel the air. When you're twisting your body. After 10 counts, Go down, hands by the side, close your eyes, relax. Now, just before going ahead with the practice of Surya Namaskara, we'll go ahead with few movements of spot jogging. But if you're having any knee pain, you'll do these movements very slowly like this. Just. Raise your knees up and gently place your foot back on the mat. If you're having any knee, ankle, heel issues. Okay. Very free movement like this. Others also can start like this. Always remember, whenever you go ahead with jogging or these kind of exercises, build the pace slowly and do not stop the practice suddenly. Instead, slow down and then stop the practice. Okay. So you build the pace slowly and you get faster. Go to your highest stamina. And then without stopping suddenly, you slow down and then you stop the practice. Okay. Now, if you are having any knee pain, keep going with the same movement. If it's difficult to stand and do this movement, you can lay, happily sit on a chair and then do this too. Others, we will start jogging slowly on the spot. Keep jogging. And slowly speed it up. Try to speed it up. 
little more. Keep jogging. Faster. Keep going faster. Very good, keep going. And without stopping suddenly, gently slow down. Slow down a little more. Keep jogging. Slow down. So we start the practice. Hands by the side. Close your eyes. Relax. You may place your right palm on the left side and observe that your heart is beating faster than normal. Let the heartbeat come back to normal. Slowly release your hand and we stand in front of the mat. We'll go ahead with the practice of Surya Namaskara. Both the hands into Namaskara Siddhi. Hands up and bend back into Adva Chakrasana. Bend forward into Pada Hastasana. Take your right leg back into Virasana. Other leg back into Parvatasana. Knees down. Chest between your palms, chin down, Ashtanga Namaskara. Head and chest up, Sarpasana. Tuck your toes, raise your hip up, Parvatasana. Right foot forward. Virasana. Other leg forward. Padhasta. Hands up and bend back. Artha Chakra. Namaskar Siddhi. Hands up and bend back into Artha Chakra Asana. Bend forward. Into Padhasta Asana. Take your left leg back into Virasana. Other leg back into Parvatasana. Ishtanga Namaskara. Head and chest up into Sarpasana. Tuck your toes, raise your hip up into Parvata. Left foot forward into Virasana. Other leg forward into Padhasthasana. Hands up and bend back into Artha Chakra. Namaskar Siddhi. Hands by the side. Close your eyes. As you're all comfortable with the practice of Surya Namaskara, please do the rest of the rounds in the other days of the week. For now, we will go ahead with the practice of other asanas. Just relax before you do that. Close your eyes. Hands by the side. And observe the entire body from the top of the head 
till the toes. Gently open your eyes. Today we'll go ahead with Natrajasana. It's a balancing pose. Left foot firmly on the mat. Hold the right leg at the back. Hold the right leg. The help of your right palm. You can either hold it like this or you can hold your leg this way. Like the fingertips can either, sorry, fingers can either come down from the leg or from the side. See according to your convenience. Whichever is comfortable for you, you can go ahead with that. Left palm into chin mudra, stretch your left hand forward. Now choose a point in front of you. Keep gazing at that point and slowly bend forward. Stretching your right leg at the back. Try to get your body parallel to the mat. And whenever you're feeling balanced with normal breathing, let's hold there for 10 counts. Bend forward. Two, three, four, five. If you're losing your balance, that's fine. completely okay. We'll get back into the pose. Seven, eight. Sorry for that. Nine. And ten. Slowly release your leg, hands by the side. Close your eyes. Relax. Gently open your eyes. Now. The right foot firmly on the mat. Hold your left leg. Right palm into chin mudra. Yes. Hand forward. Choose a point. Keep gazing at that point and hold. Two, three, four. Keep stretching the leg at the back. Very good. Six, seven, eight. Nine and ten. Slowly come back to center. Hands by the side. Close your eyes. Relax completely. All of you lie down in Prashantasana or Shavasana. Lie down on your back, hands by the side. Toes pointing out, heels facing each other. Maybe the entire weight of the body on the Mother Earth in the last complete. Whenever you're ready, move your fingertips and your toes and slowly open your eyes. I'll go ahead with the practice of Uttana Padasana. Hands beside your waist. Palms facing down towards the mat. Raise your right leg up to 90 degree. And gently place your right leg back on the mat. 
then left leg up to 90 and gently place it back on the mat when you're doing this try to keep your legs straight with a slight micro bend at the knee do not lock your knee that's not good for you in the long run one day of locking the knee doesn't harm you much but doing it consistently has a bad effect on the knee down so alternating right and left let's do it for 10 counts right up down left up down 2 and 10 now anyone with lower back pain or back pain will continue the same others will do it with both the legs together if you wish to you can also place your palms under your hips keep your hands completely straight then place your palms fingers open palms facing down under your hips and raise both the legs up to 90 and gently place them face the legs back on the mat 10 counts up and down to up down three up down if you want more effect on your abdomen this helps this movement helps in the overall blood circulation and also helps to strengthen your core you get, instead of placing the heels completely back on the mat you will just take the heels closer and get them up without placing the heels on the mat if you want more effect on your core so then if you want even more effect you will slow down let's do the same movement slowly for five counts and feel the difference one slow down and feel the difference two three even slower four five and gently place your legs back on the mat release your hands hands by the side release your legs relax completely gently open your eyes now we'll go ahead with the preparatory movement for sarva anga sarva anga asana sarva anga is all the organs are benefited by this pose but it has few contraindications so people with spondylitis or spondylosis can do it but avoid to do it in this session because we need extra support if you're having any neck or shoulder issues when you're practicing this pose so you can stay in uttana padasana go ahead with the practice of uttana padasana every kind of sarvangasana ant comfortable ga anipichukote chudandi ela cheyalo observe cheyandi tarvata meer uttana padasana ni practice cheyachu any one of you is not comfortable with the practice of sarvangasana do not push yourself into the pose everybody will be eventually able to do it just have patience instead you can go ahead with the practice of uttana padasana now for the preparation into the pose first raise your both legs into 90 degrees now if you're already comfortable with the pose you can go ahead and practice it if you if you are new to the pose just observe me and then go ahead with the practice palms push push your palms towards the mat 
then legs straight to 90 degrees. Try to get the toes towards your forehead. Toes towards your forehead. And when you do that, observe your hips raising off the mat. Okay, this movement is very important. It's just the technique and then a little bit of core strength that you need and the tight, the hip, hamstrings shouldn't be too tight. Okay, then you would be able to do it. Try to get the toes, big toe close to the forehead. When you're trying to do that, you will feel the hip coming off the mat. Okay, just do this for another five counts. One up, down. Also, when the hips are coming up, try to push the palms towards the mat. Two up, down. Two up, down. Four up, and down. Five up, very good, yes. For most of you, I can see, see that the hips are coming off the mat. Try to get the toes even more closer that, so that your hips are even more off the mat. Very good. Yes. Now, once the hips are off the mat, you will support the hips with the help of your palms. You can observe me. And then once you support the hips off the mat, you will try to straighten the legs and get the legs straight in, into a straight line. Okay. Once you do this, toes closer, then you support the hips with the help of your palms this way. Okay. Once you're comfortable here, Try to get the elbows a little in and try to straighten your body. Try to get the legs in line. Then gently, it's very important to come out of the pose. Gently, you fold your legs and then release your hips back on the mat. Release your hands and relax. Okay, try to come out of the pose without any jerks. That's the right way of doing it. Then you turn onto your right. Yes. Okay. Now, if you want to sit down and come after you come out of the pose, make sure you're not sitting up. Suddenly, instead, turn onto your right and then take the support of the palm and Please go ahead with the practice. I'm sitting down to check if everybody is able to do it or if I can help you in any way. If Uttana Padasana is a little difficult, you will go ahead with the... Sorry, Sarvangasana is difficult. You will go ahead with the practice of Uttana Pada. Yes. All of you lie down. Just lie down. After the practice of Sarvangasana, just lie down. Just another counter pose. It's very important to practice the counter pose after Sarvangasana. It is known as Matyasana. Lie down on your back and take... Yes, I'll guide you through the pose. If there's any doubt, you can watch the demonstration as well. For Matyasana. Once again, take the hands under your hips like we did in Uttana Padasana. Then stretch your toes out. Then raise your head and chest up. Then you can come onto your, you can support the body with the help of your elbows. Look at your toes and then bend back and gently place the crown of the head on the Mat. Mat yoga mat. And feel the good stretch in the neck region. In Sarvangasana, 
there was compression in the neck region. In Matsyasana, there is stretch in the neck region. Then when you want to come out of the pose, you first release your head up and look at the toes and gently place the neck back on the mat. Release your hands and relax completely. Let's do this pose once again. I'll just check if everybody is doing it right and then we will end the session for today. All of you lie down, place the hands under your hips, hands straight, palms facing down. Hands straight, palms facing down. Chetuli purtiga, me hip skin the tiskelandi. Then raise your head and chest up. Your body will be an inconchantalani, chatini pai kanalandi. Then look at your toes, me kala veil and churali. Yes, then gently bend your neck back and place the crown of the head on the mat. Talaloni madhubhagani madhrame magpai nunchali. Observe that the entire weight of the body is taken by your hands and there shouldn't be any weight on the head region. That's very important. Lovely. Slowly raise your head up. Look at your toes. Gently place the neck back on the mat and then you release your hands and come out of the pose. Very good. Hands by the side, relax completely in Prashantasana or Shavasana. Just relax in Shavasana. We'll do the Nadi Shodhana also in Shavasana or Prashantasana today. So completely relax. Now, just fold the legs. Knees pointing up towards the roof. You're just folding the legs so that your spine is more comfortable. You can either keep the legs straight or folded according to your comfort. Left palm on the abdomen. Right palm into Nasikagra Mudra. Index and middle at the root of the thumb. With gentle feather touch, close the right nostril. Slow and deep inhalation through the left. Then close the left nostril, exhale through the right. And inhale through the right. Exhale through the left. One round of Nadi Shodhana. Continue with another two more rounds. You can practice Nadi Shodhana this way even when you're not feeling well. You can just lie down on the Bed. And do this. You can feel the energizing effect on the body. Please go ahead according to your own pace. Observe the cool air entering the nostrils and the warm air coming out of the nostrils at the tip of the nose. Mishwas is kuneta purma potta baiti karani. Mishwas or the lisa of me potta local dwellerani kaman is the chandi. After you exhale through the left. 
slowly stop the practice. Release your legs. Release your hands. Relax, keeping your eyes closed. Slowly turn into your right. With the support of your palms, sit down into a comfortable meditative pose. Keeping your eyes closed, join your palms together into Namaskara Mudra. Let's all chant Omkara for three times and then Loka Samasta Sukhino Bhavantu together. Inhale. Oh. Inhale. Let's all chant Om Loka Samastha Sukhina Vand together. Om Loka Samastha Sukhino Bhavantu. Om Shanti 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 Hi. Slowly start rubbing your palms together to generate warmness. Make the palms in the shape of a cup. Place them over your eyes. Feel the warmth. With few gentle blinks, slowly open your eyes, looking into your palms. Take your hands at the back and bend, bend down for Bhu Namaskara and slowly come up. Sorry, we are 10 minutes, sorry, 5 minutes over in the session time. Thank you all for joining. It's very rare that you might feel a little strain around the back. If you feel so, please go ahead with the practice of spinal twistings in case of any discomfort around your lower back after the practice of this series. Any more questions, please feel free to ask.